hello guys welcome to the video again now I will show you how we can install a vulnerable server uh, that contains a lot of vulnerabilities for that we will type we'll open Google and type rapid 7 so we'll just go to this uh, metasploitable to download in source force and click on this and then we'll install uh, we'll download this zip file started downloading our zip file is there in the downloads folder this is metasploitable zip we'll just open a terminal here and then ls to check for our metasploitable linux This is our metasploitable Linux. We can unzip with the command unzip and then paste. Now we have uh, metasploitable Linux unzipped. This is our file. After unzipping, we found that we have one metasploitable.vmdx that we can use in our virtual box now it is unzipped totally now we'll just clear and then exit now we want this part actually by going to properties we can see that uh, this part is home pen test downloads folder uh, no need to copy I just copied can check for permissions here we have a uh, owner that is me has a read and write permission group there is a group pen test group they have only read access and the other rest of the world uh, got read x uh, read read only permission so we'll go ahead and install here we will type metasploitable2 we'll go to new new machine we'll type here metasploitable2 then type will choose Linux and then other Linux we'll choose 64 bit and then next 512 MB we'll just go for it we can uh, you can increase it to 1 GB also we'll just go for 512 MB for now create hard disk we don't want to create but we want to use an existing virtual hard disk because we have only uh, we have we have the file that we want actually and we want to add because it's not here in the list uh, we will add going to that folder metasploitable by linux and then this is our file metasploitable.vmdx here we'll go and open and then we see that uh, metasploitable is in our list here it is around 8 gb actual size is 1.7 gb virtual size is 8.8 gb so uh, I've, keep it highlighted and then we'll click on choose and then we'll click on create now uh, it is done created we'll close this folder we'll try to boot metasploitable 2 we'll just go and see the settings first before booting before starting 
we see that uh, here this is uh, the system we can uncheck floppy and then processor display remote storage audit network network is net but it is uh, never choose bridge adapter you can go for in uh, host only internal host only or net because these applications are very vulnerable so any hacker who is doing reconnaissance scanning the internet can find out uh, find your uh, vulnerable web application and they can exploit these vulnerabilities and gain root access to your laptop so it's not adv advisable to use breed bridge adapter you can use host only internal or net here i will use host only uh, for now let it be net but we will change later in our upcoming videos we will see and then usb shared folder okay we'll just go with the default we just uh, did one change is that we changed our is unchecked floppy here okay we'll just boot now it will start it's it will do its own process and start it will boot and then we can log in and then we, I will show you how we can uh, learn this ethical hacking skills improve our ethical hacking skills learn and improve with this vulnerable metasploitable to machine in a virtual environment legally in a safe environment now by default metasploitable you can see that login uh, Username is msf admin and the password is also msf admin. 